Bryce, you're so good. Bryce is always good at helping hype me up. He's my hype man. Appreciate you both. Yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Paliku Theater and to Hearts' musical of My Son Pinocchio, Geppetto's musical tale. I'm so excited for you guys to be here. This is our last show, but oh man, they still got all the energy for you guys. They're going to give it all they've got. Um, I've been so humbled just to work with them, with your children. They've been an absolute blessing. And I appreciate you all for bringing them in as part of this journey. It's just been a lovely summer, full of fun, full of hard times, but all, all good fun. Overall, very, very blessed. So before we start our lovely production, I just have a few house rules. Um, at the halfway through the show, there will be a 15 minute intermission. Please feel free to use the restroom. There are no food, there's no food and drinks outside, but if you have a secret snack, please eat it outside, yes? Um, there is the women's restroom on your right, and then the men's restroom will be on your left. If you have a phone, we would love for you to turn it off or silence it. I know your kids, they, you just want to take a photo of them. I know they're so lovely, but you can take all the photos after the show. And hopefully we can have a nice video for you guys as well, so we can reminisce as much as we'd like. So just for tonight, no flash photography or recording of any kind. If you absolutely have to excuse yourself, um, we ask you guys to go um, at the top of these upstairs. There is a couch and a monitor for you to still enjoy the show. If you have a noisy cakey or if you are just like, this show is amazing, you can just head on up there and bring all your good energy out. And then coming back home, yeah. So do whatever you have to do. But yes, please feel free to use those. Um, couches up there. And if there is anything else, I think all I have to say is I love you, Auntie Pam, and I appreciate you all for coming. So please sit back and relax and enjoy Hearts' musical of My Son Pinocchio, Geppetto's musical tale. Thank you. <laughs>
Good Geppetto. Advice? Another dose of my infinite generosity? Um, actually, I want you to take him back. Who? Pinocchio. Why? Because he's defected. <laughs> Who put you up to this? Is it the green fairy? Is she around here somewhere? Greenie, come out. You got me. I'm serious. He isn't what I wish for. You have to take him back. <clears throat> Excuse us for just a second. Who do you think you are? Asking me to take a wish back? I wish for my heart to be filled, and it's not. You wanted a kid. I gave you a kid. A broken one. Please. What do you call a kid who can't follow the simplest rules, embarrasses me in front of my neighbors, and doesn't even have an interest in the family business? Take him back, or I'll tell everyone that you're a second-rate fairy. My wish was perfect. Well, you know, I guess a 99% success rate is still pretty good. You publicly besmirch my reputation and expect me to take it lying down? Not on my dime, mister. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we take a little trip, a trip back in time to see what really happened? We'll start in the toy shop, the morning before the wish, the morning he introduced his new toys to the town. <laughs> Everything you see is satisfaction guaranteed. Take it. 
No. Hold on to it until you or eat it now. Either way. So on the wrist. Why is it the people who shouldn't have children who have children? Why is it the people who don't know how lucky they are who are blessed? Why is it the ones who see children as bothers are the ones who get to be fathers when someone like me clearly would be the best? There must be a slip up in heaven's workshop or a wrinkle in nature's design that I spend my days with the children of the people who shouldn't have children and none of them are mine none of them will ever be mine Father certainly has done a fine job raising you. Well, my boy, we should let you drive. Oh, uh, a little music to, to help you sleep. Besides, it's, it's way too quiet in here. I know my heart is large That's why it feels so empty If I could have just one wish come true I'd fill this empty heart I fill my days with I fill my nights with dreaming and wait in hopes of a someone who can fill this empty heart like an open shell on the shore, like a riverbed dry of a water. Nothing's growing. Such a magic night when all the world is shining. My foolish pair may travel far. 
I'd even wish on the wishing star To fill this empty to have your wish come true. Little Pinocchio, prove yourself brave, truthful, and unselfish, and one day you will be a real boy. Daddy! P Pinocchio? Listen to what he said next. Finally, a boy of my own. Wish granted. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. That was before I knew what he was like. <laughs> Things went wrong the very next day. Like what? Well, like, for instance, you know, this would be a lot more easier if you could just use your magic to take me to that day so I could show you. Use your magic, use your magic. That is all I hear from you people. <sighs> okay, fine, we'll go see his first day. Girls, here's a chance for you to practice your magic. Pinocchio's first day. <laughs> excited as I am? Yes, Dad. Okay, son. Are you ready to meet the town fathers? I guess so. You know, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I know the song. When I was about your age, my father taught me a song that only he and I knew. I always told myself if I ever had a boy of my own, I would teach it to him. It goes like this. Who's best, you ask? The world's greatest team, who Geppetto, now you sing, and son. And son. Good. No test, no task, too tough for extreme, to Geppetto. And son. Exactly. Who triumphs together in foul or fair weather, at work or at fun, who Geppetto. And son. Okay, you're ready to meet the town fathers. They're going to be so impressed. Senor! Senor! Ah, Senor Gepetto. Well now, what have we here? A new toy, perhaps? No, this, this is my son. Your son, congratulations. And what's your name, little one? Pinocchio! Ah, Pinocchio, what a beautiful name. And what does it mean? Oh, I made of pine. Lovely! And he's extremely bright and talented. Watch this. Okay, Pinocchio, are you ready to show the town fathers what we've just been practicing? Are there town mothers too? Uh, no. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna start. Do I have a mother? Not as such. P Pinocchio, please try to stay focused here. Do we have a last name? <laughs> Would you excuse me for just a second? Pinocchio, don't you want to impress the town fathers? Well, I do. So, here's what we're going to do. You're going to play over there by yourself, and when you hear me sing, Who, Geppetto, you'll sing. And son. Exactly. OK, good, perfect. He can be a little shy. Totally understandable. I can be a little shy myself. So, as I was saying, senor, He's everything a father could hope for, and more. Now, watch this. Who's best, you ask? The world's greatest team, who, Geppetto? Now, Pinocchio. Who, Geppetto? 
P Pinocchio? P Pinocchio? Where are you? You do know that you have to keep a close eye on him, right? They're awfully mischievous at that age. I, I, I'm sorry about this. He's not, he's not usually... I, would you excuse me for just a second? Some are harder to control than others. And some are better role models. See? See what? How he embarrassed me first day out, and he's already misbehaving. He had no respect for me, no respect for the town fathers. Well, there's more. There's the day I tried to teach him about being a toy maker. Pinocchio's second day coming right up. from a long line of toy makers. My father was a toy maker and his father before him. Now, pay attention. See how the gears have to be perfectly aligned? Pinocchio! I didn't do it! Really? It wasn't me! I was just sitting here listening to you when this wind came in through the window and, and knocked the shelf down and... What's happening to my nose? You can always tell when a little boy lies, Pinocchio. But I'm not! I'm not lying! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! Obviously, your nose doesn't agree with you. Uh, you know what? You're grounded. Well, well, you don't have to cry about it. Oh, come on, stop that! Pick a hand. Go on. Pick a hand. I don't want to pick a hand! Fine! Then cry if that's what you want to do. Now you get it? Well, no. Of course you don't. Well, watch what happened the very next day. Girls? That's ladies to you. <laughs> Pinocchio's third day. <laughs> Time for your first day of school. Whoa, I slept like a log. You are a log. Now, get over here. Now remember, today is your second first day, and it's very important to make it a good one. Do exactly as all the other children do, and you'll be just fine. Act like all the other children. Got it, Dad. The bell will ring a major event. Whoa. And then what, Pinocchio? Do well each thing. For you represent who? Both Geppetto and Son. Good boy. Now run along. Bye, Dad. He'll act like the rest, and he'll pass this new test and bring pride when it's done to Geppetto. <laughs> What's going on 
here. I'll tell you what's going on, Senor Geppetto. From the minute your boy got here, he's been imitating the other children. Is that true? Uh, well, you told me to act like everyone else. No, that's not what I meant. How hard is it to just follow the rules? But I... Don't act like you were born yesterday. <laughs> but I was born yesterday. I don't want to hear any excuses. You're not very good at listening, are you, Pinocchio? He's fast becoming a delinquent, Signor Geppetto. And if you're not careful, he'll end up running off to Pleasure <coughs> Island. Oh, I just assumed that a man of your stature would raise a proper son. Well, one never knows what takes place behind closed doors. Now, take your boy home before he causes any more trouble. Take him home? You may bring him back once he learns some manners. Whew, why is it the people who shouldn't have children who have children? Are you convinced? Is that the best you've got? Because if it is... Hello! Hello there! Family squabble, forget your troubles at Stromboli's amazing marionette show. This is a bad time. It's never a bad time for Stromboli's amazing marionettes. The man said this is a bad time. Nothing warms my heart like seeing a couple so clearly on the same page. And what better way to spend a day with your child than enjoying a marionette with you? La 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 la. Perhaps acrobatics are more your speed. Look, Ariel, in that tragic puppeteer again. He shows me. Grazie, signor. Everyone's a critic. Have pity. These are difficult times. I haven't eaten in 16 weeks. Go away. What about you, little boy? Do you like first-rate entertainment? I think so. Do you like quite an interesting joint you've got there, kiddo? Are these dovetailed or bolted from the inside? Wait a minute. Children don't have wooden joints. I don't think this is a child at all. It's a stringless puppet. Quiet. It's a stringless puppet. That's what I just said. When I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. A stringless puppet could reverse my fortunes. Do you like to sing and dance, my boy? Oh, yes. He's not your boy. Now, go away. Stop bothering us. Pinocchio, haven't I told you not to talk to strangers? No. I'm telling you now. Go inside. I'll join you in a minute. Now, Pinocchio! And you should be on your way as well. It's a free country. I can go where I like. Oh, a fairy. You never take your fairy. Why do you think she's dressed like that? Quiet! If I had known, I never would have been so bold Just as to... Just go! Yeah, yes, your, your magicness. Please, don't cast a spell on me. Now, where were we? We were discussing how you were going to fix Pinocchio. Good Geppetto, we do not fix what is not broken. Stop that! Look, the kid's a big disappointment. I don't want him, so take him back. Tell me you can't see the problem here. Oh, I can see the problem here, and it rhymes with Geppetto. You're not going to help me, are you? Nope. Fine. You know what? You're the most useless, poor excuse for a fairy I've ever met. Well, that was charming, wasn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to apologize for that whole mess. I know you came here tonight to celebrate the wonder that is me. And instead, you had to watch a grown man throw a temper tantrum. But not to worry, these things have a way of writing themselves. When you wish upon a star, makes no Bye, Dad. <laughs> okay, Pinocchio, you've been up there long enough. Time to come down. P Pinocchio, remember what I said about listening? Pinocchio, where are you? A, a note? Dear Dad, I'm sorry I've been such a big disappointment. But if you don't have to worry about me anymore, 
I've decided to sing and dance in Senor Stromboli's show. Stromboli? Maybe it's better this way. I mean, Senor Stromboli has hundreds of puppets, and he, he knows how to take care of them. And at least then I'll be able to have my own life back, and Pinocchio will be okay, and things will be just like they were. I, I should just make sure he's okay. Another show in two hours. Tell all your friends. You must be very proud. Well, yes, but... And don't you worry. There's lots more where this came from. Just think, a thousand pieces of gold for every town in Italy. Well, yes. You're going to be the biggest star this side of the Mediterranean. What do you say to that? Can I come out now? Come out? Oh, no, no, my dear little stringless puppet. The world is a dark and evil place, and we must lock up our valuables. Let someone come and steal them. But I don't want to stay in here. I want to come out. You will do as you're told. Hello? Signor Stromboli? Hello? It's, it's your father. He's come looking for you. Not a word out of you, or you'll regret it faster than you can say kindling. <laughs> Hello there. How can I help you? Uh, we met yesterday, didn't we, Signor Geppetto, was it? Yes, I just, uh, I wanted to make sure that Pinocchio was all right, and that he was okay, and that, you know... Who? Pin Pinocchio? I've got no strings to hold me down. Oh, yes. Little pistachio, talented fellow, <laughs> you just missed him. Just missed him? What do you mean, I just missed him? He's the star of your show. I wish, but no, little Pinocchio was a one-night engagement. 
He mentioned something about making his way to the big city, chasing his fortune, cutting all ties, so to speak. That part cheesy is free as a bird. He'll never make it out there on his own. Thank you, Senor Stromboli. I'm sorry if I inconvenienced you. That was a close one. We'll have to be much more careful than that. Ah, ah, how could this happen? You, you were supposed to be watching him. I only closed my eyes for just a second. <laughs> and you, I told you to keep your eyes peeled. I was just, I see you. You were in it together. You helped them escape. How much did he pay you? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> you think I'm a fool? It's a conspiracy. And after all I've done for you. Oh, I'm glad the new puppet's gone. Who said that? <laughs> I remember you. You used to be the star of my show. I can make a comeback. You don't need Pinocchio. Who are you kidding? You're watched, just like the rest of them. We have to find Pinocchio before his father does, or you'll all be out on the streets. After years of a second-rate act on a second-class circuit, after years of obscurity, toiling in doubt and in debt, Comes a chance like a perk up my luck and I'm going to perk it. Think of the rapture once we recapture that marvelous marionette. Remember the audience cheering the puppet to stringless. Remember them throwing those purses of gold our way. It's clear a performance without him is going to bring less. We've got to find him, catch him and bind him and cage him until we can stage him again and they say hooray bravo stromboli bravo bravo stromboli maestro bravo stromboli practically holy you are a showman second to no man and with the ticket selling so quick it's making us antsy for if we can see senior stromboli and the oh there's going to be stromboli bravi But what if we never can find our dear little Dobby? Oh, farewell to the riches and dear admiring throngs. No, I will not allow my good fortune to be taken from me. We'll search for Pinocchio from here to Tokyo. And how will we fare when we bring him back where he belongs? Bravo, Stromboli. Bravo, Senor Stromboli. Magnifico. We'll name a cannoli after Stromboli. We who are lowly think you'll be sold as an Napoleon of puppeteers. After all of the jeers, all of the tears, hearing the cheers ring in my ears. Silence the scoffers, fill up the coffers, weighing the offers everyone proffers. They're dying to back you with such a spectacular show. They you and they are, acclaim and acclaim, Stromboli Hurrah! Bravo! We go! Pinocchio? Pinocchio? P oh, great. Just what I need. So, what you doing? I think he's looking for somebody. Oh, I'm not. Uh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, fine. Maybe I am looking for him. I'm just doing what any normal person would do when a child runs away. I think you care about him. You know what? Why don't you make yourself useful and wave that little magic wand around of yours so we can find him? Again, with the magic. Here's a good lesson for you girls. Everybody nowadays is looking for a quick fix. Everybody moans and prays for a magic trick fix. Cast your spell, wave your wand, make my wish come true.
won't be flaws. Why can't it be perfect now? You sigh, honey, I'll be glad to tell you why. Why if it is magic? Why? Just because. Since it's becoming abundantly clear that you're not going to help me, how about we make a deal? What kind of deal? Very simple. I'll find him, and when I do, you'll take him back. <laughs> and why would I want to do that? The blue fairy's a fraud! The blue fairy doesn't know a wish from Shadowa! Okay, Shinola. fine. It's a deal. Girls? It's a contract. It says when you find Pinocchio, we'll take him back. You need to sign it. The blue fairy says to put everything in writing. Add the X, please. Just because it's mad. Just because it's mad. Doesn't mean contentment. Doesn't mean you're perfect. Even with a chance. Your friends have been chance. Never about but the face of Has plenty of flaws. Why can't it be perfect? Don't to take know this you as in gratitude. But you really have an attitude. Magic. Oh. Why? Just because. You're a very arbitrary fairy. <laughs> Happy ever after. Doesn't come for free, my friend. I'm not your friend. Just because it's mad. Just because it's magic. Just, Just because, because it's magic. magic. Doesn't, Doesn't mean you know the end. This isn't the end. I've been thinking, while you were out there having a snack, dishing the show, whatever it is you people do, I was busy asking myself, what is the moral of this story? And I realized that beneath all of these granting of wishes and making of full hearts lies a simple truth, a universal lesson for the ages. Girls, do any of you know what that lesson is? Arancia? Never count your chickens before they hatch? Not exactly. There's no place like home. No. A bird in the hands. I was thinking more. Never get to wish to a moron. Exactly. <laughs> I heard that. So what? It's true. How does your making a defective kid make me a moron? It doesn't. You were a moron long before I granted your wish. It's not polite to call people names. If you don't have something nice to say, then you shouldn't say anything at all. I completely agree. Excuse me, I just want to let you know that you can play with the new horse and wagon now. It's nice to share. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like to come over to my house for dinner tonight? We're having liver and breast sprouts. Mmm, breast sprouts are my favorite. What lovely, polite, and respectful children, don't you think? Please. You know, sometimes it's a matter of seeing something done right to see where you went wrong. I couldn't agree more. You know, this will be a great learning opportunity for you. Watch and learn. Uh, excuse me, uh, young, polite, and respectful children. Is there an adult around whom I could talk to? Yes, senior. Play. I've got an idea. Let's invite my younger brother to play with us. Oh, okay, but only he has to pick the game. Do you think your mother would let me take out the garbage at your house, too? <laughs> Watching and learning. Here you go, senor. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, um, excuse me. I'm looking for a little boy. Really? We're looking for a little girl. He's about so tall, dark hair, dark eyes. Just like the Vincenzo boy. You'll be very pleased. I'm not sure I'm following you. Oh, don't be silly. You're welcome to follow us. 
In fact, we're on our way to see the professor right now. The professor? Professor Bon Ragazzo. Oh, he's the best. Maria Bernardo. I'm so glad to see you both. We just have a couple more things to decide, and we'll be all set to go. Oh, and if you've brought a friend, come to help with the decision, eh? Um, well, no. Actually, I'm looking for a little boy. Fantastico! You get a discount for the roof parole! I'm at your service. Well, he ran away last night, and he must have come through here. Ran away? But I thought you were here for... Oh, I see. Oh, my reputation! My reputation! Did you get him here? Here? Yes, here. Well, no. See, I carved him out of wood, and then I made a wish, and the blue fairy... You made him yourself? Oh, he made him himself. Oh, thank goodness. You should leave these things to professionals. What are you talking about? Well, what am I talking about? Junior! He's talking about our new, improved, fantastical, scientific, child-making machine! You make children? Not just any children, perfect children. <laughs> Maria, Bernardo, it's time. But, but, but don't you want to have children of your own? We used to have children the old-fashioned way, but it was too unpredictable. You never knew what you were going to get. People had boys when they wanted girls. Children would misbehave, break things. Sometimes they would even run away. Well, I, I suppose... This way, there's nothing left to chance. Ready to go, we just need the last two inputs. Okay, have you made your final decision? Well, we've really agonized, but Bernardo has been so supportive. Anything for you, Sugar Plum. Thank you, Pookie Bear. So, here we go. We were thinking blonde. Blonde, moto stupendo. And eyes? Blue. Magnifico, a classic combination. One blue-eyed blonde coming right up. Finissimo! Hello, mother. Hello, father. It's a pleasure to meet you both. <laughs> I'll be Papa's little princess. I'll be Mama's little pal. For I love you both to pieces. What you say to do, I shall. I love cooking. I love sewing, dusting. When I get the gift, but like every little blonde girl, what I do the best is dance. She's perfect. Of course. Satisfaction guaranteed. Satisfaction guaranteed. See Professor Buon Regazzo for a better way to breed. Buy my artificial child and you'll be certain to succeed as a parent guaranteed. Now, for you, I'll give you a good deal. Inventor to inventor. You'll have a new little, uh, what was his name? Uh, Pinocchio. You'll have a new little Pinocchio faster than you can say. Jiminy Cricket, only one that works. What do you say? Well, I... Let the magic begin! Hug your leg and call you pa. Can I be exactly like you and make toys until I drop? Isn't he precious? Well, I... I know just what you mean. Junior! Daddy! <laughs> Could I be your new Pinocchio? See, I look a little wooden, but I'll never disobey you. You're my papa, so I couldn't. Aww. Well, these boys are lovely, but Pinocchio is just a bit more... Forget about the old one. We're talking perfection here. I know. How about a girl? Daddy! Well, she's just not... Twins? Two for the price of one? Any crack pop creed, now he daren't guarantee. Why be saddled with the daughter who's a whiner? Must you suffer with the son who is a brat? 
You've come just in time to see the great Lazaro escape from his bonds. It doesn't look like you're escaping your bonds. This is a trick taught to me by my father, Lazaro IV. He taught me when I was but a small child. Okay, I have to go. No, wait! <laughs> but you have to see the miraculous box of fire. Now please, have a seat. Now, please examine that this box is completely empty, senor. Senor? And with the wave of my hand, Aklo! Ah! The miraculous cloth of fire fires out. Amazing, amazing. What was the box for? Oh, this? It's for my next trick. Okay, I have to go. No, wait, please. I have but one more trick. Yes, that's why I'm leaving. Please, just one more. Okay, fine. One more trick, but nothing with fire this time. Oh, no, no, no. This is a trick invented by my great-great-grandfather, Lazaro I. He taught me when I was, well, my father taught me. Now please, examine this rabbit. Well, hey, this is really great work. Where'd you get this? Oh, I made it. Now please, hold the rabbit in front of you. Grazie! Wait, 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 wait. The great Lazaro never misses. The great Lazaro, please, put the bow and arrow down. Listen. I don't know how to tell you this, but you're the great, you're the worst magician I've ever seen in my life. Why are you doing this? I ask myself that same question every day. I think it's because my father wanted me to. Well, just because your father wants you to be a magician doesn't mean you have to be one. You don't understand. The Zolls have always been magicians. I can't do anything else. It's my destiny. But what, but what about all these wonderful toys? I am proud of them. Toys, you have a talent, it seems, for toys. Really? Because I've always loved making them toys. I get ideas in my dreams. I make toys you light up, toys you make of, toys nobody else could think of. Well, then you should be a toy maker. If only I could. Boys should be free to pursue their joys, no matter what their dads do. My father would be so disappointed. You don't understand how much pressure fathers put on sons. Actually, I do. Especially when he's mine. Okay, I have to go. Good luck with everything. Grazie, signor. entertaining. Oh, and you know what? You were right about the watching and learning. I watched and you learned. I never said Pinocchio had to be perfect. I just wanted him to behave and at least show some interest in the family business. Oh, 
hey, sorry about that. I didn't see you there. What are you? Did you just speak? Arf, arf. Are you okay? Never felt better in my life. Oh! Have you seen another? Have you seen a human being like me out here, only smaller and made of wood? Oh, I'm like, yes. Relax. He said that he's a human being. He's looking for another one like him. Uh, have you seen him? No. You shoot dogs with foxes. Cause they know everything. Quack. I'm going to go look for the foxes. Nice talking to ya. Oh, um, excuse me. I was told to ask you... Wait a minute. Foxes don't graze. That's because we're cows. Cows? But you look like... Check this out. There. You see? But you're still... Want to see me chew my cud? No, no, no. That won't be necessary. I can if you want me No, to. it's okay. I believe you. We're so proud of her. She won all county milking contest last year. Mom! Why are all the animals trying to be something they're not? I heard you were looking for me. Something about your son. Let me guess. You're a fox. Are you blind? I'm a horse. <laughs> but all the other animals were pretending to be something they were not, so I just assumed that... I was disowned. I could never get the whole fox mystique down, so my father basically kicked me out. I've been on my own ever since I was a pup or a foal. Wow, your father really just kicked you out? I was a big disappointment. Parents should just let their children be themselves, whatever they turn out to be. I swear, I had nothing to do with that. He came to that all on his own. No magic. <laughs> Except the talking animals. May have had something to do with that, but that's all. Listen, can I ask you something? Sure. Have you seen a wooden boy wandering through the forest? A answers to Pinocchio? It's possible. A lot of little boys pass through these fields. Of course, they're all runaways. They are? How do you know? Because this is the way to Pleasure Island. Runaways always end up on Pleasure Island. Thank you so much. You've been more helpful than you know. Pinocchio? Pinocchio! 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 <laughs> Let me guess. You are lost. No, I'm not. Fine. Then where are we? We're right here. You're leading us in circles. And to think. I almost had it all. I should be drowning in wealth, bathing in gold. It's not fair. I wish, I wish just once I could get what I want. Who is it who wishes with such pain in his heart? Oh, it's you. Well, that was a wasted entrance. You've come to grant my wish? I just want my little Pinocchio back. He's not your little Pinocchio. Now, girls, at least Stromboli wants him. Unlike a certain toy maker, we know. Yes, yes, I want him very much. Your wish is granted. I'll bring you your precious Pinocchio just as soon as he's found. See, girls, sometimes things take care of themselves. Well. Who would have thought our luck would recover so quickly? Just when I thought I would be the most luckless of men. One wish I know our prospects are no longer sickly. Thanks to the fairy, we can prepare. Receiving the cheering we're soon to be hearing again. Bravo Stromboli. Grazie, grazie. Bravo Stromboli. We are too kind. How loud they applaud, even louder the audience roar. Our fortunes will soar, no shout as before. Stromboli, bravo! Shouldn't there be a place?
place where nothing is naughty. Shouldn't there be a place where anything goes? Where shouldn't and can't and don'ts and mustn'ts and parts evaporates and funds the only biz? Guess what? There is Pleasure Island, Pleasure Island. Is that what's for supper? Candy, cake, and pie land. See that window, I'm not breaking. See that toy there, I'll just take it. Rules and limits, kiss goodbye land. Pleasure Island welcomes you. Isn't this place great? No. Excuse me. Well, well, well. What have we here? Uh, I'm looking for a little boy. H have any of you seen him? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you should know better. That's not how we ask a question on Pleasure Island. It's not? You gotta follow the rules. What rules? Grown ups gotta ask questions. Backwards. I didn't know that. I don't want to hear excuses. You're not very good at listening, are you? How hard is it just to follow the rules? Rules? I just got here. No one knows the rules on their first day. <coughs> well, I mean, how could they? That was not a question, that was rhetorical. Again with the excuses. Should we tell him the other rule, or should we just punish him? What other rule? I mean, rule other what? Parents aren't allowed on Pleasure Island! There's a parent in here! Parents! 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 Pleasure Island! Pleasure Island, not an impulse or a whim should you deny land. See that kitten, go on, kick it. See this fence, break every picket. If you wanna cuss and lie land, Pleasure Island is made for you. Pleasure Island, Pleasure Island Everything you shouldn't do, you get to try land That word no, don't wanna hear it Feel like fighting, that's the spirit Oh, mind your manners, not in my land Pleasure Island, your new home What are you doing here? I've come to take you home. I heard what you said about me, that I was a big disappointment, that you didn't want me. Well, now I don't want you. Yeah! It wasn't like that. He doesn't know what he's saying. Pinocchio, I promised the Blue Fairy I'd bring you back to her. Now, come on. Let's go home. I'm already home. Yeah! What's the matter with you? I said I'm already home. What's happening to him? Oh, bad little boys make donkeys of themselves in the end. Can you help? What's happening? Dad, Daddy, save me! You're too late! What, Pinocchio! Dad! Get him out of here! Get no! Him. Pinocchio! Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island. You will sing a different tune here by and by land. But you won't be singing on key Cause you've turned into a donkey And we've shipped you off to plow a few other hogs every As we leave you with a smile and Pleasure Island memory See how crazy things get when there are no fairies around? <laughs> Speaking of crazy, 
Can any of you explain this whole Pleasure Island donkey thing? Rosa? Well, first they lure in bad kids. And then? Arancia? They turn them into donkeys. Yes, and then? They ship them off to hard labor. Exactly. That seems like an awful complicated way to breed livestock. <laughs> True. Pinocchio! Pinocchio, jump! Dad! Mio! They're going to drown! We have to help them! Yeah. One of you, use your magic! Sue! You sent them a whale? Well, I saved them, didn't I? Oh my goodness, Pinocchio, you're okay. Daddy! But you are a donkey. How? When I jumped into the ocean, the donkey part just washed away. Oh, Pinocchio, I thought I'd never see you again. But I thought that's what you wanted. While you were gone, I learned a few things. And I promise, if we get out of this whale, everything will be different. But how will we get out of this whale? Uh, I don't know. We could swim out. I don't think that would work, Pinocchio. If the whale opens his mouth, then the water will just push us back in. We can make a cough. Oh, how? Do you have any pepper? Uh, uh, no. We can build a fire. With what? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just, it's my fault we're in this. You shouldn't have to for my mistakes. You know what you should do? You should call to the Blue Fairy and ask her to bring you home. Maybe while you're at it, ask her for a new dad, too. Come on, Dad. Remember who we are. Who's best, you ask, the world's greatest team. Who? Now you say, Geppetto and Son. Come on, Dad, don't give up. No task, no task, too tough or extreme for Geppetto and Son, who triumphs together in foul or fair weather, at work or at fun, Geppetto and Son. Wait, I've got an idea. We just need to tickle the back of his throat, then he'll sneeze us out. It's too high. We'll never be able to reach it. Wait, I've got an idea. Come on. Ask me a question. What? Ask me a question, anything. Why? Just do it. Okay, okay. What's your name? My name is Luigi. Ask me another. Oh, uh, how old are you? 47. How many toes do you have? 200. We're almost there. Uh, uh, who's the best father in the world? Senor Mancuso. No, you have to lie. Oh, uh... It's okay. I know. Now, who's the best father in the world? You are! Okay, hold on! Here we go! Home at last. Can I please my treats now? Of course. If you get ready for bed first. Aw, oh, but I want to play with them now. If you get ready for bed first, then afterwards, I'll play with you. Okay. Not so fast. What are you doing here? He's with me. Would you like to tell him, or shall I? Tell me what? Well, you didn't want him, and he did. So I thought I would kill two birds with one stone, take Pinocchio back from you, 
and give him to Senor Stromboli. You see, the puppet is mine. Daddy! Don't worry, Pinocchio. You're not going anywhere. You can't have him. I don't understand. You didn't want him. We signed a contract. No. No, this, this isn't right. He's my son. I wish for him. Here, take something else. Oh, take this. Oh, it's very valuable. Oh, or this. Or this. Come on, take anything. Take everything. You can take my favorite chair. Go on, take it. I don't care. There's no possession I can't spare since I gave my heart away. If I had a bank account, you could take the whole amount. Things and riches, what are they since I gave my heart away? Until you gave your heart to someone else, you might as well be made of wood. So take my home, look, here's the key, and all of value you might see. But if you take my son from me, that's a price I cannot pay. Since I gave my heart away. How touching, but I want the boy. Daddy! It's been a pleasure doing business with you both. What? No! <laughs> Pinocchio, come back! Oh, fairy, please, help me! If only there was something I could do. Well, then, if you have one ounce of kindness left, grant me one last wish. I love him, he's my son, and if my life with him is done, then finish off what you've begun, make me wood or stone or clay, since you gave my heart away. Yeah, I needed. What? What? What's going on? What are you doing? I'm real. I'm a real boy. A real boy? Who needs a real boy? No one will pay to see a real boy. So you don't want him then? No. What do I look like? I'm a puppet master, not a parent. <laughs> this is the last time I do business with a fairy. Oh. Still got it. <laughs> Dearest Geppetto, what good would it do making Pinocchio a real boy if he did not have a real father to come home to? And my perfect record is intact. <clears throat> There's a lesson learned. I learned it late, but no regrets. The more of your heart you give to someone else, the fuller that it gets. So take my home, look, here's the key. And all the value you might see, but never take my son from me. 